318 Northeast 5th. So it's a nice neighborhood. Really close to Pine Island Road for all the shopping restaurants. Could use some love in the yard. I'm not sure if the sprinklers aren't working because it's had Floritam grass. Some little cleanup on the landscaping. Um, it does have hurricane impact windows. I need to check the age of the roof. Chain link fenced yard. It is a wood frame home. Most houses here are concrete block. There's a few wood frames. Just have to be sure you keep up on the uh, pest control. Typical 80s house, walk in. It's got the L floor plan. Big living area. Entryway closet. This way goes back to the kitchen, family room, laundry room. It is a four bedroom. Got this carpet that needs replaced. Good size laundry room here with the door out. Uh, so it has been replumbed with PEX plumbing. It probably had polybutylene, would be my guess. And there might still be some polybutylene in the attic. We'll have to def definitely check that out. And then this is the garage that I can't find a light for. Standard two car garage with an interior door that needs to be replaced with a fire rated door. So a volume ceiling here in this family room. And the two bedrooms and guest bath is there. Sliders out to the screened in lanai area. Does have wood cabinets and some tile countertops which could be replaced. They took out the uh, fluorescent lighting. Decent amount of cabinets with the pantry. Nice counters. Looking out to the pool. This is your pass-through window. This is a tube light. It gives you natural light. And then this is back around to the living room area. And that's the front door. They've updated all the light fixtures, and so then the French doors here go out to the lanai area. And this is tiled and screened in. And this screen is separate from the pool area because the entire pool cage is screened as well. So this could come off. I'm not sure why they have this on here. It does have a, a roll down hurricane shutter. This is the Kevlar, uh, the new Kevlar of uh, hurricane protection. Uh, the pool is a pool liner. Well, is it a liner? I think it is, because this is a fiberglass steps down, and then that's a liner. You can see the... Needs a little love. The cage has got rip screens and things. So chain link fence, neighbors have PVC, so the entire yard is fenced. This is the guest bathroom, which is also a pool bath. A little she shed for storage. All the pool equipment, a little outdoor patio. It looks like the lot's a little bit bigger, like a 145 deep instead of 125. I can check that out. So then this is the guest bathroom. Fiberglass, tub shower, the vanity's been updated. And so then this is the two guest bedrooms with laminate flooring. This floor plan, uh, everybody's got nice walk-in closets. All the bedrooms have nice big walk-in closets. I've done some crown molding or chair rail, something around the top here. This is back into the family room, kitchen area.
it's nice to have a pool bath. But this whole screen area could definitely come off because you've got all of this screen. So I'm not sure why it's a separate. And this looks relatively new. Area for a TV. So back into the living dining area. And this is the fourth bedroom, which would be a great office space. And I believe this was an addition onto the home. I don't know, I'm not quite certain. I need to look the permits up. And another walk-in closet here. So this would be great office space. And then this is the master bedroom. Another walk-in closet here. So there's four nice walk-in closets and the pocket door into the master bathroom, double vanity. And then around the corner here is the potty and the shower. And that's just a fiberglass shower that would, this would just pull out and make this a tile shower. That'd be a really easy, easy thing to do. I mean, there's definitely some do-it-yourself projects going on around here. But for a wood frame house, would definitely want a termite inspection.